Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'm going to tell you about primer designing using the primer 3 plus tool. So let's start. First you will have to get the sequence of the gene you are going to design primers for. So go to NCBI. Select gene. Search for your desired genes. Suppose you are going to design primers for insulin gene. So then type insulin here. Suppose it is Homo sapiens insulin. So this is the Homo sapiens insulin. This is the code for human insulin gene. Just click on this. Then click on this faster button to get the sequence of the gene. So this is the sequence for the Homo sapiens insulin gene. Select this. Copy and then go to Google search for primer 3 plus primer 3 plus this is the link to primer 3 plus tool click here paste your sequence in this region then you will have to identify the target region for which you are going to design your primers for suppose you have already identified this as the region for which you are going to design primers. So select the target region in this sequence and then identify the brackets. Here they have given three types of symbols. These symbols are used for excluded regions. These brackets are used for target regions. These brackets are used for included regions. As this is our target region, that's why we will click on these brackets. So this area will then be surrounded by these brackets. So this is our target region. Once you have selected your target region, mostly you don't need to select this included region or excluded region. If you want to specify an area for primers, then you can select the included region. And if you want some uh, region in this DNA that you shouldn't want to design your primers from, then you will have to select that region and then click on these symbols greater than and smaller than symbols so that that area might not be used for designing your primers. And if you are going to specify an area for designing your primers, then you will have to enclose that area with these curly braces. Suppose you are going to design your primers from this region to this region. Then you will have to select the region and then click this region. But this time I am not going to select any included region. Even if you select only the target region, that's enough for designing your primers. After selecting your target region and then clicking on this, just click this pick primers button. So your primers will be designed for your target region. This is your target region that you selected and this is your forward primer and this one is the reverse primer the sequences for your forward and reverse primers are given here this is forward primer and this is the sequence of your forward primer this one is the reverse primer and this is the sequence for the reverse primer this is the length of forward and reverse primer this is the product size 223 the melting temperature for both the primers the gc content is given here so that was all about primer designing using primer 3 plus Thank you for watching. Bye.